Are you stuck in ELO hell? Do you want to get out? Maybe you just like watching low ELO plays because you find them entertaining. Either way, you're in the right place. Hi, I'm Graham Scrubberfly, and I've been playing League of Legends for around the last 10 years or so, and there was a time when I was stuck in low ELO as well. Some might argue that I still am. But I can show you how to climb on iron, bronze, silver, and even gold. So, if that sounds like fun to you, join me on this journey. I'm starting down in the depths of Iron 4 Zero LP, climbing all the way up to at least gold to show you how to escape ELO Hell. This episode, I'll be returning to one of my original mains that I played way back in Season 3 or Season 4, one of the best low ELO carries in the game, Pantheon. Hello one and all and welcome to another exciting episode of Escape from Elo Hell, the series where I grip you tight and pull you from perdition. I'm your humble host, Graham Scrubberfly, and today we're going to be playing Pantheon Top. Now I believe I am against Anasis, so that should be a good matchup for me. Uh, Pantheon is a very good early game champion and Anasis is not a very good early game champion. Uh, if you don't know what Pantheon does, I'll give you a quick rundown. His passive is that every time he uses an attack or an ability, uh, he gains a stack of mortal will. At five stacks of mortal will, it empowers one of his other abilities. Uh, his Q is that he thrusts or throws his spear, depending on if you just tap it or hold down the button, and it does damage and does bonus damage to champions who are low on health. Uh, his W is a short range leap that stuns the target. The empowered version gives you three quick auto attacks. Uh, his E blocks all damage from a target direction and deals damage in that direction as well. And his ultimate is a semi-global, ranges about half the map or so, uh, jump to a location that does damage in an area. Um, against this Nasus, my plan is generally going to be, uh, is going to be to zone him from minions. So Nasus gets stacks on his Q and that's how he scales and he scales very, very well. Uh, but I have the early game advantage. So what I'm going to try to do is if he'll let me, uh, I'm going to try to stand between him and his minions and not allow him to walk up and farm. So I'm just going to walk up, Q him, walk back into the bush. And then as soon as my Q's back up, do it again and just keep trying to bully him off. And that Q didn't hit him. I thought it might, I wasn't in range for it, but that's gonna be continue to be my strategy is that whenever he tries to walk up, so like for this minion, he might walk up for it. Q him, auto him, auto him, and then walk up and Q him again uh, and just get him low. And I have ignite. So once I hit level two, which should be in just a moment, I'm going to try to get three, my ne next stack of Mortal Will so that I have my Empowered W, get my three quick auto attacks. And as soon as he walks up, just do that, Q him. And then I might be able to, here, I'm just gonna throw another Q at him. And just keep throwing Qs at him and get him into a position where I might be able to dive him, because if I can dive him on this wave, he's going to lose a lot. Like, this whole wave is going to die uh, under tower. So I'm going to see if I can't make that happen. Uh, so we're going to calmly walk up under tower, press W on him, ignite, auto, and walk out. Oh, he leveled. That's tragic. There we go. I'm going to die too, but... Uh, he loses this whole wave, and I don't, uh, so this is really, really good for me and really bad for him. So what I'm going to do when I come back is I'm just going to try to, uh, I'm going to let this push into me and maybe try to form a freeze. Uh, this is pushing into me because he has more minions than I do. Uh, if you don't know how to do a freeze, uh, a freeze functions whenever you have four or more minions on the opposite side. So he has more than four bonus minions, right? That's how I would put it. When he walks up, I'm just going to use everything fight him and he flashes that's fine um so i'm gonna go ahead and pop a potion and then this is still pushing into me so we want to let that happen we want to let it push and we do know that ramus is here i'm aware of this uh, but let this push into me maybe let him hit the wave a little bit but as it gets closer to my tower um kind of grab the wave and stop it from pushing so that I can freeze it outside of my tower. I'm just going to get in this bush real quick. This is going to freeze right here. And I'm going to trim a couple of these minions. If he walks up, I'm going to fight him. Oh, 
get another level. And still just zoning him for minions, not letting him get any. And this is actually, this is too big of a wave. It's going to hit my tower. There's nothing I can do. I got too focused on fighting him. Uh, and Nasus has a very good ult, whereas my ult is just kind of like map mobility. But he's probably in a position where he thinks he can kill me, but I think I still win this, so... So what I'm going to do is try to just kill him. And he doesn't get anything back, so... And if he walks up at all, I can just charge a Q and try to kill him with it, is my plan. But if you see, he still has 12 CS to my 29. Like, I have a very significant lead on him at the moment. Uh, I'm not going to be able to build a wave and dive him, unfortunately. But if he backs, which it looks like he might be doing, uh, I can just hard shove this create another bounce which means like when the minions hit his tower uh, it causes it to push back towards me and when it's pushing towards me that's when i can try to zone him off of minions because when it's pushing towards him he doesn't have to step up there's nothing forcing him to step up and get minions i don't think he's going to know how to freeze this i think he's just gonna let it hit this oh maybe he does so i might have to ult back okay so i'm gonna have to ult onto this uh just to get it into the tower so that he doesn't um rob me of this whole wave as well. And I mean, if he walks up, I'm still gonna hit him. And just continue to hit him, and I mean, if he stays here, Do me a I can just... Get out of here. I'm just gonna... Get out of here, man! You should be dead. And I'm gonna die to this Ramus, but again, he's dead again. Uh, and this is going to slow push into me because of the position of the wave again. Uh, so we're just, again, trying to stop him from farming, trying to stop him from scaling. And I get that I'm giving him kill gold, but it, it's not as important as the XP that I am robbing him of by stopping him from getting his waves. Uh, that is really the big thing that we're doing is stopping him from getting waves by killing him when it's under his tower. Uh, and that's going to stop him from leveling and make him mi stay weaker than me. All right. And as we're arriving back to lane, you can see his he has more minions in the lane than I do. He basically missed this entire wave. Uh, he did just hit level 6, which is a little scary, uh, but I can just let this wave push into me, uh, and he has to walk up for last hits, and I can just hit him with Qs and stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and trim these um, range minions that are very low, and then we just last hit, and when he walks up, we can just Q him. If he decides to fight us, then we can W him, but for the moment, I'm just going to poke him with Qs if he decides to walk up, and if he doesn't decide to walk up, he's just he's not getting any minions. Uh, he's in a spot where he's just he's not getting any gold and I, i've already doubled his cs which is huge um and i'm gonna hold this wave right here i'm gonna trim off some of these minions uh to make it a little bit easier to hold the freeze and then we just we hold it right here and if he walks up we fight him but if not he just continues to lose out on gold and i would try to chase him out of xp range except for the fact that he's level six now uh and nasa's ult is kind of scary and if i overextend into it i could make a mistake and kill myself uh, on him which would be really really bad in this position because he'd be able to shove this wave into tower i would lose all the gold and xp and we don't want to do that uh, so i'm just going to sit here trim this up a little bit and just allow the minions to kind of filter in oh, i'm gonna walk right here if he can get to me that's fine. Kill that guy? I think I, I might be able to kill him as well. Might not be able to, though. Might have to, like, flash it? What? I gotta get out of here! Too late! Oh, kill them both. Sick. So we get two kills there. Uh, we did lose this wave under the tower, which is unfortunate, uh, but I did get two kills out of it. Uh, it's unfortunate that my jungler died, but able to kill them both is really nice. Um, my jungler said holy top gap. I don't know if he was referring to the fact that I was doing really well or that the Nasus got there first. I'm not sure, uh, but I'm going to try to get this under tower completely. This might be a mistake just for... Full disclosure, trying to shove this in could get me killed. Uh, but I really want to get this under tower and get this next plate before I back. And then I can back and possibly ult bot lane. So I'm going to auto-attack that once. Go back this way. Uh, I need to ping him off. They are running for him. I was going to try to ult bot lane, but it looks like they've shoved up. There's nothing for me to ult there. 
Um, mid lane, they've all backed off. I'm going to ping the dragons coming up soon, and I'm just going to walk top lane. Uh, and it looks like, actually, if this fight happens, I can try to... Uh, he's too far back now. Actually, I'm not going to be able to get... Oh, he did flash, though. Okay. I'll take a flash. That's not nothing. Probably not a great ult, honestly, because I'm losing on these minions. Um, and because I didn't get anything mid lane. I did get a flash, so debatable whether or not that's worth but go ahead and just i'm gonna let this slow push uh, i'm not gonna try to hard push it there's nowhere for me to really be right now there is dragon so that's another reason why i shouldn't have used that ult uh so all in all i would say that ult is a mistake because if i hadn't used it i could hard push this in and then try to ult uh towards the dragon but because i'm here uh, and i don't have ults i'm not able to get to that dragon unfortunately so I'm going to go ahead and just shove that in and look towards mid lane. Try to auto attack this stuff. I'm going to say I'm walking here so that they know. I don't have ult. I really wish I had ult for this bot lane, but... We get that. Throw a ward right here. Look over this way, possibly. I mean, unless we like make something happen here, there's not really a whole lot going on. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to shove this up. And I'm going to have to back and try to get that top lane. Because leaving Nasus alone in that lane is going to end really badly. But in the meantime, I might be able to get this tower real quick. Uh, get this tower back and then ult top. That's a lot of gold for me, so it might be worth it. Problem being that Nasus is being allowed to scale which is really unfortunate, but um, I you know, can't be everywhere at once, unfortunately. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go uh, Blade of the Rune King second. Not normally what you would go on Pantheon, but in this uh, game, I think it'll be good for the Ramus and for the Nasus. Uh, getting your W to proc uh, Blade of the Rune King three times is really nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and just ult right on his head and just see what he does about it. I'm going to just ignite him, just in case. Uh, I wasn't sure if he'd get out or not, but I wanted to ignite him just in case. And then now, I will just go ahead and shove this up. I'll ping this. Let him know that I want to do it, and we will just shove for the tower. Uh, everyone on the map is missing, which means that they could all be coming for me, which would be highly unfortunate. I'm going to walk down. See what's going on down here. I do see a ward down there? I'll go ahead and take that out. Do that. I don't have ult to get down there, unfortunately. Uh, go ahead and put a ward on this for now. Could try to walk mid, but that's pushed up. There's no way I get to bot in time to do anything. Uh, but if you see here, he's level eight and I'm level eleven, and that just comes from you know me playing the waves correctly in the early game. Um, at this point, I do want to just shove his tower, but I don't know if I can um, at the moment. I don't know that I can just kill him under his tower. But it might be a good idea for me to try to like shove these up and try to have an effect on the map because my team is losing. Uh, let's see what happens if I just walk up and hit the tower, see what he tries to do. He wants to try to hit me. Okay. Hit him back. You know, and that's a decent trade. I didn't. Well, I don't know that I can kill him under tower, which is sort of the problem at the moment. But over time, I should be able to whittle him down and kill him that way, possibly. And I might be able to take the tower in his face as well. Walk up, press Q, see what he does. Nothing. Okay. Oh, he slows me. Okay, so I walk back. Now that I'm no longer slowed, I just walk up. Hit the tower, stun him. Use my E to get a speed boost and just walk away. Uh, I may be able to fight him and kill him, but there's really no reason for me to do that at the moment. Uh, there's no reason for me to try to fight in his ult if I don't have to. I do know that the Ramus is here. No, oh, he's actually, he's down there trying to fight my, my jungler. So if he wants to come over here, I can help him out, but okay. Kill him. 
wait for my W, stun him, and then my W comes back up. Nice. I don't really see a reason to try to fight him at the moment. Oh, hello. Do that. Walk back. He's just dead. There's nothing for me to do here. I have no HP. Highly unfortunate. I can take this, maybe. Nice. Grab this. Get some health back. I can flash stun her. No, nope, I can't. Incredible. Incredible? She's faster than me. That's amazing. <laughs> Wasted my flash for nothing. Uh, I mean, we could be getting this at this point if we're not going to be doing anything else. Oh, that's a TP. I have to go and help with this. Or some very bad things are going to happen, methinks. Can't touch this. Alright, I'm gonna walk back because I don't want to just die. I'm very, very low and I don't want to give them anything. So I'm gonna kind of sit back. Kill him. Nice. Oh my god, this fight just keeps going. It never stops. She win that? That's incredible. Um, I, I, I want to do the Herald, but at this point, I have almost 4k gold, and I am whew, tired. So I'm going to go back and get some items. And I'm going to look to go down here, possibly push the bot lane, and kill this Ramus. Like the video! Hey! Hey, you... Like the video! Like it. Please? Thanks. I suppose warning the same thing is a little unfortunate. But... Oh, hello, yeah. oh, hello. Oh, hell no, I'm out of here. Mm, not going to be able to kill him, but do push him off the map. So, oh, ooh, down here. Oh, she got it. I'm going to ult over here as soon as I'm in range. Okay. As much damage as possible. Okay. And then, I mean, I guess we're just going to go top and kill this. I don't really feel the need to try to chase down the Nasus when the wave is not there yet. You know, we need to kill the wave so that we can get to the tower. So I'm going to go ahead and start shoving the wave so that I can push the tower up. Get this tower done. Fight back. Fight back. And there's just no counterplay for him. He just gets stunned and dies. Okay. Very good. She dies. And I mean, I'm gonna go. Bottle, I'm gonna go mid lane and just start shoving waves. Uh, because I don't like if we're all grouped up here. You know what, what gets done. Whereas if I move to another lane and start shoving, they have multiple things they have to defend. So I can shove this up, and then I can move bot. I'm gonna try to careful ping this, tell them not to fight that. Um, and in the meantime, I'm gonna go bot and try to get this tier 2 tower, because they're worth a lot of gold. You know, so you can see how I shove mid is forcing Nasus to be there. And my team is still fighting up there, which is unfortunate, but... The fact that I shoved mid forced him to be there, uh, which means that he couldn't help out with that top uh, play. And then I come bot and I get another tower out of it. And I feel like I have done my job. I have another 2k gold. I'm gonna go back to base and buy an item. All right, so walking back out on the map, I've got my three items and I'm just looking around to see what I can do. 
You know, something I forgot to mention is that I did used to main Pantheon way back in the day uh, before he got his reworks when his Q was still a targeted ability and his passive blocked tower shots, you know, like way back in the day, um, back when I was a bronze only player. Um, and now that, you know, I've been playing the game for a while and I, I'm able to get to the higher ranks so that I can, you know, show you guys how to get out of the lower ranks, I still think Pantheon is a fantastic uh, character for carrying the lower ranks. Uh, because he's so dominant in the early game, especially if you get, like, an early game matchup. Here, I can just back up, spam my Q, and they just dump all their damage into my shields, uh, where I block damage all from one direction. So, but Pantheon is just—he's good at the early game. He's good at creating leads, and then because of his um, his ultimate allowing him to get across the map, uh, you're able to kind of control the map and transition your lead into the mid and late game pretty easily. Um, and certain builds with him even allow him to scale decently well. I mean, he's never going to scale like a Nasus, but uh, he can certainly scale well enough to carry games, you know, into the late game. Or at least into the mid game, for sure. I'm going to try to walk out here. Hot, 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 hot. Taking a lot of damage that I don't want to take. Hot, 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 I'm going to try hot, to just hot, leave. Hot, hot, hot. Well, I died to <laughs> brand passive. Highly unfortunate, but, you know, it's all right. Oh, so the enemy team got the dragon, which is unfortunate because that was Soul. Uh, us over pushing into their base and getting greedy. Hey, you're still here. For that, so you're watching. You should subscribe. Not just kind of you should subscribe for more video videos like this. For the dragon, but more videos like this if you subscribe. Do that. If I can't, just ult on this guy's Please. head. What <laughs> And then walk up at an angle like this so she can't get away and just get that kill. Me and Jinx. Popping off. So here I'm just going to kind of sit here in the front and try to scare them away from trying to start a fight. And just allow my Jinx to hit the tower, hopefully. Go ahead and put my shield up so I don't take a ton of damage from them. Oh, this brand ult is highly unfortunate. But hey, it works out just because we're really far ahead. It's hard, very hard for them to kill us, so. Makes life a little easier. And from here, honestly, it's probably best to back and like go do Baron. I'm going to go ahead and just put out a danger ping and just ping that Baron is alive. We can go Baron. We don't have to fight this. Hey, I wanted to say thank you, everybody. I just hit 100, 100, 100 subscribers, um, and that's awesome. Uh, I just started making videos again recently uh, and have been getting uh, a decent amount of uh, good responses. So thank you all so much for your support, and uh, subscribe if you want more. Uh, but 100 subs, that's awesome. Thank you all so much for the support, and um, as long as you keep watching the videos, I'll keep making them. Thanks. W him. And get that kill. Yeah, put my duck, put my E up so I don't take a ton of damage. Okay. Good enough. We can go Baron here pretty easily. Just shove this up and then go run to Baron. They have two dead, but we do have our Jinx dead, so I don't really want to push for the end here. That seems kind of dangerous, especially with my team split, so I want to go and do Baron instead. So that's what we're going to go do. Uh, and this Baron would be way faster if we had our Jinx, 
but we don't. So it's going to take a minute, but they're still spawning. So I think that we'll be all right. We can get this Baron, and then we can back, and then just all mid and go for the end, because that's the only place we have an inhib left, is in the mid lane. We do have that dragon coming up in a minute, so if it gets to that point, we can definitely try and get that dragon soul. It'd be very nice for us. We should already have it, but we don't, which is sad, but it's okay. So right here, we can just continue to pressure mid. I'm just tapping my Q to get my mortal will up. So if someone walks up, I can walk up and just W them. I'll walk over here. Okay. We did see this ward. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that ward. And we do have that dragon coming up in 13 seconds. that war and our, i mean our team's just doing dragon right now which is good we can just let that happen we don't have to force anything right now we can just allow our team to get that dragon and then whenever they're done we can come up and, and start a fight try to win the game that way and this turret went down which is amazing um so we can just try to get all these inhibs I'm just continuing to chase this Echo out of the fight, kill him, and that's just how you win the game. Right there, you get the Baron, you get that Dragon Soul, and then you just kind of walk in and say, we're stronger than you, we dare you to fight us, and there you go. Uh, and that's, hey, that's how to carry games on Pantheon. If you want to see how to carry games on other champions like Darius or Ezreal, uh, check out the videos that are going to pop up on your screen right now. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe, uh, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.